Hi there, welcome to today's vlog episode. Uh, it's a Tuesday, I was going to call it Tech Review Tuesday, but somebody else has already done that, so uh, it's kind of a tech review on a Tuesday, if you got what I mean. Anyway, I'm going to do an unboxing and a review of this Audio Technica, and I've got to look down because it's really not got a very good name. LP 60W HB2U record deck. Now, I've had this set up here, which was my grandpa's old system that I rescued from my dad's garage, uh, because one main reason. As a musician, I realised that I wasn't doing an awful lot of listening to music. I was hearing a lot of music when I was doing other things. Here's the album, Blue Train, Expanded Edition, by John Coltrane. <laughs> Listening to music whilst doing chores isn't a bad thing, but it meant I just, I really wasn't sitting down and listening to music like I ought to. And I found that kind of listening to it on the computer, listening to it in the car, didn't enable me to listen properly. So I decided, and I'm speaking more about it in this vlog episode, to go retro. But this Iowa deck is not great. It's not sounding too clever. I got a really nice um, Dizzy Gillespie recording for Christmas and it really doesn't play it very, very well. So I've been umming and ahhing about upgrading my record deck for a while. I've read all the reviews. This came up with kind of like a good one to start off with as a, an upgrade. I'm not a total vinyl fiend, but um, I, you know, I'm kind of, I want to have a decent setup so that I can listen to my music. I've got a, a very important notice thing. It says, um, you need to read the instruction manual, which is never good for me. Uh, please open the box packaging carefully. Make sure you do not, don't not lose, uh, do not lose. Do not loss uh, the accessories and maintain the box for at least 30 days. Okay, so. Carefully place the turntable paddle on the centre spindle, making certain the paddle there. One thing I didn't buy this for was the ability to be able to pair to a Bluetooth speaker, but this is definitely going to be useful. Um, I've got a HomePod upstairs, maybe I need to get something better down here than this system here. So this is... One second. This is definitely a huge plus point. Of course, you could also pair them up to your Bluetooth headphones, which I may well do at some point, but I haven't done just now. So in conclusion, my review is pretty positive. It's a pretty decent record deck. I'm definitely happy with the quality of the sound. Okay, the system I've got is not amazing. It's an old Sony system, but it certainly does the job. It's definitely an upgrade on the deck that I did have uh, operating on it. I love the way that I can pair it up to the speaker and the uh, Bluetooth headphones. That's definitely, I think, going to future-proof it for the next five or 10 years when this system passes in all I need to do is probably buy a decent Bluetooth speaker uh, and off we go obviously I don't think that would then do any good for the vinyl heads you know kind of you know it's still not analog anymore if I do that but definitely suitably impressed with this and uh, so far 
thumbs up well done um audio technica are great i've got a, quite a few of their microphones that i've used in the past uh, really good pro audio company so yeah definitely recommend it if you're a regular viewer of my vlog, you'll know that I'm off to uh, France tomorrow. I'm going to Normandy uh, tomorrow uh, to make start making a film about my grandpa's Second World War. I will be on Sword Beach 75 years ago to the day since he drove his truck off. And then on Thursday, I'm going to be at the Selma factory. So make sure you're subscribing where my saxophone was made. Those are my student saxophones made, John Coltrane saxophones were made, Sonny Rollins saxophone were made, Bramford Mars artist. Oh, look, you know, you, if you've not watched this vlog here where I say I'm super excited about it, I am. So what I'm doing at the moment, it's kind of weird because obviously I've got to go over there and uh, especially when I go and see Sios in Paris on Friday, I am definitely going as a saxophone player. Uh, but tomorrow I am going as a filmmaker. Thursday I'm sort of a filmmaker stroke saxophone player. So I've got to make sure I'm charging the drone batteries up. I literally am charging every single battery I can find uh, to make sure I've got a full complement of everything ready to go. And then tonight I need to pack, um, which I haven't really even started yet. So uh, that's going to be fun. But before that, I, I must do some practice. <laughs> I've got to say, month in, really loving these key leaves, doing a great job. No sticky G-Shark keys at all. Fantastic. So I hope that review proved useful for you. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It makes a huge difference uh, to the videos that I can produce and you get to know as soon as the content comes out. So if, especially if you hit the little bell button as well. Um, if you are one of my patrons, you are gonna know more about the Selma Factory than anyone else's because I'm gonna be live on my phone using the Patreon feed on Thursday in the Selma Factory. The rest of the video is gonna be out next week. Uh, but if you really wanna get in early, uh, get me over, you know, get over to Patreon. If you're one of my patrons and you have a Selma Mark 6, send me the serial number or any Selma saxophone, send me the serial number and I will do my best to find out about it for you. Uh, don't forget to check out my last vlog here. This is what I was up to this time last year. I will see you later this week with some fantastic vlogs. I'm off to France. I need to pack. So thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.